So we've got the spear, my little spear here with the tri head tip and uh, we're gonna try for these uh, polyamorous, poly, poly armor plated catfish. We see them everywhere, they're everywhere. They're another invasive species. Florida's wild, man. I mean, if you can see all the iguanas, there's probably 40 to 50 iguanas all along here behind me. But there's one of these catfish right here. Let's see if we can stick them. You can't catch them with a, a hook. They don't really eat anything. I saw them somewhere right here. First try. First try. Got him. What a cool fish, man. All right, these are razor sharp like needles. Crazy fish. Armor plated catfish. You can barely see his eyes. They're a sucker fish. Look at that mouth. And these things right here are, they're like, they're like a spiny tailed iguana. Mexican spiny tailed iguana. If anybody's, I'm sure most of you have, uh, handled spiny tail iguanas. But that's what it feels like all the way around. If I was to rub this way, I mean, you can see the little needles. They're like needles. If I was to rub that way, I would slice my finger apart. I can rub that way. But man, what a cool fish. Crazy fish, another invasive species. People would buy these for their fish tank. They'd get too big. What do they do? They just dump them in the water. And they survive down here in this warm clim climate in South Florida tropical climate. Everything survives down here. It's fun for us though. Throw him in the cooler. <laughs> Number two. Two for two. Two for two. He might be a little bigger, huh? A little bit. Come here little fella. Crazy thing. <laughs> Crazy, crazy fish. But it's not, it's not a catfish. It's like a dinosaur fish. They get a pretty good bit bigger than this, but just that little bit of, just touching him right there. Scraped up my thumb. He's, he's got armor. I mean, if you could feel this guy, like he is. It's like, it's like holding a, a rock, like a hollow rock. Wild stuff. All right, whenever you're ready. Got him. All right, let's straight up, straight up and in. Yeah, he's a big one. He's a nice one. Sweet. This is awesome. Your first try. <laughs> yeah. Got him. Barely though. Yep. Yeah. He's pretty. He's wow. A, wow. Look at him. Yeah, he's a good size one. He's bigger than that. And these guys really don't cause a lot of damage, but they are invasive. And so they don't belong. So they're, and they're everywhere. They're seriously, any canal, anywhere you walk and you'll see them, just, you'll see them everywhere. That's a pretty one. Good job. Thank you. All right, so we're we're here in Pompano Beach, and we're staying at a little Airbnb house right here on the water. And uh, we didn't have a pot big enough to for these catfish that we're boiling, these armor-plated catfish. So luckily, um, our lovely neighbors, Rotem, she's from Israel. From Israel, and she's got a beautiful name, and she has a big pot. So we, Glorianne, ran over there and said, "Hey, do you have a big pot that we can use real quick?" And so we're we're uh, she's helping us out. We couldn't cook these fish without you. Thank you. So where are you from? Uh, basically from Israel, but now we come from uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta. And we have a great time here, and it's really nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. How long have you been here? We're going to be here 12 days. 12 days? And, nice. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, now it's the third day. Do you have anything planned? Like any, any to be in the boat all day long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you rent this boat? No, no, it's, it's my uh, fiancé boat. Nice. Yeah. That's called an armor-plated catfish or a placo. People have these in their aquariums, and they'll keep them in their aquariums, and then when they get too big for their aquarium, they just let them go. And so they're not from Florida, they're an invasive species, and they've taken over. They're everywhere, all in the canals, everywhere you look, you see these just on rocks. Really, they live in the most dirty, nastiest places ever. Okay, I would. I don't like to eat uh, this okay. kind of fish, but thank you that you explained me yeah, about this fish. Yeah, at least you, do you want to touch it? Yeah, why not? Touch right there. Yeah. Feel that? Isn't that yeah. crazy? Feel the needle like yeah. real rough, <laughs> and then down here, it's it's like sandpaper, but it's it's softer. Yeah. 
Isn't that cool? It's different. All right, so come in here and take a look at these guys now that we're in the good sun. So they've actually got spines. So every one of these little spines that got three needles, that one, that one, that all the way down and all the way up and down. I mean, it's just razor sharp, big fins. And if you're really looking closely, you can see that those pectoral fins are like sandpaper, just super rough. They're not pointy. And then look at that mouth. It's a sucker fish. Really cool underneath. These are the aquarium fish that stick to glass. So it's almost like all this is made for suction. Really cool looking down here, but this is actually kind of soft. So this is not a how-to video on, on how to clean these things. This is just how I'm gonna do it because I've never done this before. So trial by fire. So um, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is just get a little bit of soap. I'm gonna get my brush wet. I'm gonna get a little bit of soap on here like I would with another type of reptile, like an alligator or something like that. Cause this is like a mix between an alligator and a fish. No way to describe what the heck this thing is. We're just gonna scrub it down, because honestly, this did come from some pretty nasty water. Uh, these guys like to live in the, the more algae, the more trash, the more of these guys you'll find. And you know, the Florida canals are not the cleanest in the world. So we're just scrubbing this thing down with some soap any type of crazy bacteria or anything off of it. We're gonna end up boiling this guy. So that will kill any, well hopefully it'll kill any funk that might be on or in this fish. Good clean salt water. And look at the brown, the brown slime that's in that brush. It's just wild. Start right here in the anus and just work my way north. This is like a, a big plate. That's why it looked like he puffed up right there. That's a plate, so I'm not gonna be able to, I don't think I'm gonna be able to cut through that. I might have to cut around it. So this is weird stuff. Definitely in uncharted territories. So look at all this. Okay, this is weird. Look at that. It's like, it's like a spiral of his intestines. Very interesting. You know, one of my favorite parts of, you know, checking out a new animal that we've never eaten before is checking out what's inside. It's anatomy. Feed them to whatever may eat them. Clean him out real good. Doesn't that look delicious? All right, I've got him cleaned out and scrubbed to the best of my ability. And I'm actually pretty excited to try this. I've, I've been reading that it's better than it looks, um, which isn't saying much, but also I've read, God, it's just crazy. That's like a, that's like a, a volcanic rock. If I, if I had to describe what that texture is, that's like a volcanic rock. Just super hard, very porous, just insane, very crazy. Every time I look at this fish, I'm discovering something new. So we're gonna go ahead and boil this fish. Um, from what I've read, that's the best way to get the the armor off, kind of just peels off supposedly, so we're gonna boil it. We're gonna season up some boiling water, throw it in there and give it a try. We're just trying this, uh, I've actually never seen this before, it's called Tajin. Essentially it's uh, red chili pepper, it's got dehydrated lime in here and uh, a bunch of other seasonings. So I'm gonna add a pretty good amount of that in here. Um, I don't wanna overpower the fish because I am very curious as to what it tastes like, but I do wanna get some seasoning in there just for flavor. So our water's boiling. We're gonna take our creature from the Black Lagoon, put him in our basket here, and lower him down into the water. He does have a little bit of air. Make sure he's good and covered. And we're gonna give him about 15 to 20 minutes. So it's really important when you boil fish, you don't wanna boil it, you want it to simmer. There's nothing you can do about overcooked boiled fish when it turns to mush. It's better to be a little undercooked than a little overcooked with a fish that's not toxic. So you wanna simmer it, that's the key. Simmer this fish for about 15, 20 minutes and then we're gonna test it with a fork and just see how tender it is. It kinda loses that translucent raw look. Um, that's how we know it's gonna be done. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at this fish out of the water. Take a look at it. A fork. But you can see how soft that shell is. 
I stick that in there and just turn it, and in fact, it just comes apart. And where'd the meat go? <laughs> We're gonna let him cool for a little bit and, uh, and investigate. But as you can see, there's not much meat. I, I don't know if we boiled the meat away. And it looks like there is some meat, but it's down here in the tail. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try to peel some of this armor back. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of time disarming this fish. I mean, there's meat right there. Oof. Sure. It's got a super weird texture to it. Is it because it was boiled? Is it just mushy? Look at that. It's like rubber. Eat it. It's kind of like a lobster tail texture. That's what you asked for. If it tastes like lobster tail, guess what? <laughs> We're stacking up. Man. I don't know if I boil it too long. It's not mushy. It's actually pretty firm. There's nothing appealing about this. It's like, it's like rubbery fat. It, that's what it feels like. It feels like the fat, like a big chunk of fat on a steak, but a little bit more rubbery. does not smell good. It's horrible. It is horrible. Try everything twice, I always say. So it's got the texture of like oysters. Oysters, but a little bit firmer, more rubbery. I'm trying to get the flavor, but I can't get past the texture. There's a reason this fish is built with a body of armor. I don't believe this is meant to be eaten. Maybe in a survival situation. But this is the worst fish I've ever had. For sure. Let's get some more. Now right, your turn. All right. Mm-mm. Give it a chance. Mm-hmm. Okay. It went down and it like tickled my throat. Yeah, I'm good. Not my favorite fish at all. <laughs> Don't try this at home. All right, Glorian's she's going to brush her teeth and wash her mouth out with. With a toady. Oh, she's in there These eating are a toady. So much better. Yeah. This is how how fish should look: white and flaky. Yep, not our favorite. In fact, the worst fish I've ever had in my entire life. So, but it was it was fun gigging them and uh, it was interesting. But um, we're gonna go wash our mouths out with Listerine and gargle some alcohol. <laughs> but thanks for joining us guys. Until next time, stay wild.